Good evening and welcome to Dr. K's Kitchen. This is episode two. For those of you who watched some of the last episode. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. Uh, uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulty with the last episode. I was only able to download the last two and a half minutes on YouTube. So rather than try to fight the system... I'm just going to break this into five minute intervals. That way we'll be able to get the whole show on there. And I've hired a director to tell me when to uh, cut, you know, during the intervals. And, you know, um, hiring a director is rather expensive. But I have some sponsors that were fortunate enough to purchase airtime during the second episode of Dr. K's Kitchen. Not bad for a one man show. Uh, anyway. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make cheeseburgers. Now, I know what you're saying. Anybody can make cheeseburgers. Anybody can make cheeseburgers, but they're also very high in carbs and high in cholesterol. And you know, I've got some problems with that. So, we've got some, for those of you uh, unhealthy men over 40, we've got, the per we've got the perfect cheeseburger recipe for you. It's called Cheeseburger in Midlife. Borrowed a little bit from Jimmy Buffett. And if you watch uh, Dr. K's karaoke this weekend, you'll see I tend to borrow from Jimmy Buffett quite a bit. Okay, let's show the ingredients you'll need. First of all, of course, you're going to need some onions. And this one, one of the things that separates this from the normal cheeseburger is ground turkey patties that you can purchase at Walmart or just about any supermarket. Um... Mustard and ketchup, some pickles, fat-free American cheese, and got some uh, multi-grain sandwich buns. And just like I do any time I make ground turkey for something other than tacos, I don't make ground turkey. I don't, you know, you know, if you order the turkey club, I don't go out and club the turkey or anything. But anytime I make something with ground turkey, such as spaghetti or cheeseburgers, I always use the same set of spices, the salt and pepper, oregano, paprika, and garlic powder. We need to start heating up this pan, though, if we're going to cook some cheeseburgers. So, of course, take the cooking spray. You don't have to display yourself like this, but it makes better television. And set the stove on medium high, which is my preferred ground turkey cooking temperature. Okay, now, we've talked about this before. I was talking about it last time about me being, uh, uh, having 324 cholesterol and 560 triglycerides and Living proof that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <coughs> you know. I have to be concerned about those things, you know. I mean, I'm 43. My father had his first heart attack when he was 50. Never could figure that out either. Because he was on a business trip to Kansas when he had his first heart attack. How can you have a heart attack in Kansas? There's nothing up there to get that excited about. What was he doing? Going, oh my god, look at all that wheat! You know? Sheesh. I mean, the biggest historical landmark in Kansas is the Kansas City Wall. It's there to keep people from defecting to Missouri, you know? <laughs> so, I also found out, you know, they, they called me when I was eating. I was at, it was St. Patrick's Day, I was having this uh, traditional Irish lunch at Papa's Pizza. It's about to indulge in my third slice of pepperoni and sausage from the lunch buffet and my cell phone rang and it was telling me that I had the 324 cholesterol and 560 triglycerides. So they did a glucose test and a week later on my 43rd birthday I was about to stroll over to the faculty lounge to have some cake that my co-workers were nice enough to bake for me. Uh, Thank you, uh, Piper and Ina. But right before I went over there, my cell phone buzzed again. Telling, and it was the nurse telling me that uh, I was diabetic. Yeah, you see, uh, 
I moved from Oklahoma to Alabama and I mean to in from Oklahoma to Alabama in 1998 and of course in Alabama diabetes is a prerequisite for citizenship that and you have to know the language oh that's my director telling me it's time for a commercial break so we'll be back after these commercial messages <laughs> 